Hey everybody, today is October 15th and I'm in Batavia, New York, which is uh, sort of between Rochester and Buffalo, more closer to Buffalo, I'd say. But I'm at the Geneseo Community College at the Richard C. Call Arena for the Great Batavia Train Sale. That's what they call it in the flyer. This is a pretty good show. It's more of a, you know, seller show. There's not a lot of layouts and stuff, but there's some probably. But uh, there's always some good stuff in here usually. So let's go in and uh, see what they got. Hey, one more thing before I go in, because I'm parked like, I don't know, a tenth of a mile away from the building. Why wasn't one of these out, out front of the building? You know? I come out here, I expect the, you know, special treatment. All right. Let's go in. It's a nice rainy day, so let's uh, go in and get dry and see some uh, cool stuff. And we'll just scan the tables. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I've been doing a lot of talking today. Yeah, it's cool to see a lot of S stuff. Love these old erector sets. These are cool. I wish we guys had templates. Mickey Mouse set. Got some more tin plate here to O gauge. We got some G scale. Look at this thing. Tons of HO. All these die cast cat vehicles. These are really cool. The old lamps. Probably scan too fast through all these stuff, but there's so many tables. And as always, the tables on the shows, you just gotta come experienced. There's just so much stuff. We got a table of G scale, and look at this beauty. Ah, oh, nickel plate Elko. If I was in G scale, that'd be the engine. It's pretty cool. Look at all these people. Hey, my buddies from Lake City Hobbies is here from Geneva, New York. The guys I got the uh, turbo train from. They got all kinds of scales here. That Lake City Hobbies. 
This is a group that sponsors the show. This is their test track. Okay, everyone, I'm back at home. And uh, you know, it, it was good to go to the show. I almost didn't go. I've had a lot going on and change of plans here and there. And But uh, 7 a.m., I decided, you know what, what the heck. I'll take the three-hour drive and go up there because Batavia is such a great show. And I didn't want to miss it. I ever missed two shows. So let's uh, see what I got. I didn't get much. I got four items. But uh, the first one is this Valley Flyer 1989 Fresno, California Let's see, it is the uh, NMRA convention car, I guess. I just thought it was cool. I like these blue box kits, these uh, card hoppers. So that was one. That was only six bucks. So figured, hey, why not? And then I got a Walters Mainline. That's going to be a mouthful here. It's the 85 foot. General American G85 flat car. I don't have a flat car. I got, you know, a bunch of cars like this or that length, but not like this style. It's got that like trough in the middle. And then you got uh, the hitch pieces that go on there. And metal wheels. And, you know, for the main line level, it's not bad detail, really. See if I can move that out of the way. And this is pretty cool. This is from the uh, Rochester HO Scale Club. Uh, if you go back to about, what was it, last March, I think it was, the video I did of their train layout, that's massive layout in a basement of a church. But uh, at their table, they had one of these cars for sale. So you kind of, you know, it's undecorated. You just paint it up for their out of the box that kind of orangey red but it's undecorated and you got to put the decals on but hey it comes with uh, metal wheels and Katie Coupler's on it some extra weight so that'll be fun to get the decals on this so this is that's the name of their I guess the railroad the Seneca Valley lines this was the 40 year anniversary so I thought that was really a cool find. And then I've been wanting one of these. This is a Bowser 40-foot double-door box car with the uh, round roof. But this is called a a uh, turtle roof. Because you see right here, it's, it goes down. It's indented. And that's kind of unique. I believe Pennsylvania is the only one to have this. I could be wrong. I'm not a historian on the Pennsylvania Railway, but... The guy just happened to have a whole bunch of Bowser and he had this one car. I'm like, oh yeah, I saw the word on the box. Turtle. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, I'm glad I went. Got to see a bunch of friends. Uh, Tim was there, CP368 Productions. But I don't know, we, we missed each other. It's not that big a venue, but you know, it probably is. It's just big enough, enough crowds that you could, you know, potentially keep walking around and never see somebody. And my buddy Joe wasn't there. Joe, where were you, man? But, uh, you know, it was a great time. And afterwards, I got to run into my buddy Seth. We exchanged some cars that we had for each other. So, overall, it was a pretty good day. And like I said, I missed two train shows just because just things going on. And I was sick for the one. But anyways, had a good time. And there'll be another show in March. I'll do a, I'm going to do a video talking about the train shows coming up soon. Because I got a bunch of flyers to the show, too. But, as always, I had a great time, and uh, when I was leaving, you'll see at the end of this video, a train did go by the crossing, but I was like the third car back, and there's cars around, so I didn't get a really good angle to get a video, and so I only shot the engine in the uh, DPU unit. But, hey, at least I got to see a train, so, you know. All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching. As always, where there's trains, I'll probably show up sometime. All right, take care. Thank you.